Owning a brand new car has never been debatable. There honestly is nothing better. Especially when you're getting one for 23 million naira, which comes with a whole lot of stuff like a five-year warranty or 150,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. On the channel last year, I introduced you guys to MG and they have come with the bomb. Today, guys, we have one of the most amazing cars you're going to be seeing on the road. said they were coming back they were not joking and with this the 2023 mg gt this is pure and true evidence of what they meant by they are coming back with the bomb guys this car has a beautiful and imposing look and yes it's all new in the market but it's also been sold in the uae for quite some time making it one of the best selling new sedans in the uae that is amazing so we have this very beautiful look and this tone this red tone just accentuates the beauty of this car it looks like a sports car it looks like the maserati and the w206 mercedes c class amg at the same time right so what do we have here we have our led headlamps with daytime running lamps which are very beautiful and here we have the maserati type grille we have this um Flaming grills, just like they call it, they have a flaming technology, very beautiful. And the presence it commands is a lot. Then we have, of course, our MG badging and a front parking camera right here, which, which aids your driving. We have this beautiful, beautiful carbon fiber lip spoiler right in front. And all of this right here is just bliss. At the side here, of course, we get 17 inch rims wrapped in these Michelin tires. Now, there's something I really love about these rims, right? these designs so these are very similar you get to see them inside the car but nonetheless they're not just there because of the design these are very aerodynamic rims right now moving on further we have this mirror power folding beside indicators and then take a look at these curves like the aerodynamics of this car are amazing curves right in here it goes in it comes out right there with the side skirts of course moving on to the back of course, this rear end is a sight to behold. This beauty is, I can't, I can't really put it in words, but guys, so to begin with, we have this very sports styled, race car styled LED tail lights, which are very beautiful. Then this rear end actually does remind me of a Jaguar. Moving further down, of course, you have your rear parking sensors. We also have a rear parking camera right here. And then we have our rear diffuser, which is beautiful. And this race, car start light but this actually works as a fog lamp on this car then uh, as usual the dual fake exhaust but you know it's becoming more common these days anyway guys this is something else that i really love the ground clearance is amazing finally like we have a car that feels like it was built with us in consideration i mean like our terrains are not exactly the best so this works perfectly then when it comes to this we have our trunk space we have about 14 cubic feet worth of trunk capacity which is pretty decent for a car this size it's a subcompact sedan after all but however this compromises some things right so fitting in big stuff might be a tad bit difficult and i also wish that this was power controlled and i wish we had a hatchback but still works in a sporty looking car like this, there's no better place to be than right here in the driver's side. So of course, on the door, we have our door controls, our window controls. Over here, we have our mirror controls and this particular section, right? So we get keyless ignition. Press to start. Yeah. And then we have this, a seven inch fully digital cluster which is amazing and i love this design right so this here is for the speed clock and over here we have a rev counter and oh, it's just beautiful of course in the center of the screen you have a large screen which actually shows you different information depending on what it is you want to see then we have our leather wrapped steering wheel with red stitching we have a flat bottom and it is just i mean an electric power steering it feels just right 
still in the cabin, of course, we have our very beautiful sporty seats with bolsters to keep you in place, which is dual toned. I mean, and this leather just feels really sturdy to touch. So for the passenger, we have a manually controlled seat and for the driver, I have a power controlled seat, which is beautiful. Then this design, I mean, we have an array of materials in this car. So we have beautiful leather, still decent. Then we have plastic and then we have this silver chrome-ish still plastic thing but it just really looks appealing and this design that we saw on the tire this car looks very beautiful this entire center console is very driver focused i mean it is amazing to see we have a 10 inch infotainment screen that's compatible with apple carplay and android auto via screen mirroring which is not wireless so you have like two usb a ports one to mirror your screen and one to charge your phone we also have our climate zone controls. We have our transmission controls and our e-parking brake and auto hold. Dual cup holders and extra storage here, but no USB ports in there. Sitting in the rear of the cabin is very comfortable. So I have in my driving position, decent amount of legroom, just about enough headroom for myself, despite having this slopey roof line. And for someone who's taller than me, say up to like six to feet, pretty comfortable. The, seat, the seats are comfortable, the leather is just right, so you're not like all over the place. Of course, we get no armrests, no extra cup holders up here, but we have one down here. We also have an AC vent and one USB-A port. Now, if we move on to the middle here, the person who's in the middle can either sit like this because that's a drivetrain hump, or the person sits with the legs elevated on the drivetrain hump it might not be very comfortable for someone who's taller, but for me, this is a really comfortable. Now, this car comes with like standard safety and driver assistant features, which are actually really great. We also have an amazing sound system. The speakers in this car, they're just six and they are amazing. And then that center view mirror, auto dimming, pretty great. And we have a beautiful glass sunroof in this car. Now taking the MG GT for a drive, what we have here is a 1.5 litre turbocharged inline 4 cylinder that is mated to a 7 speed DCT. Now this car puts out 173 horsepower, 250 Nm of torque, sprints from 0 to 100 in about 8 seconds and it sends all of the power to the front wheels. On the drive, the car feels pretty decent. Of course the braking, the acceleration are pretty decent. When you pedal it to the metal, it feels pretty fast. It doesn't really feel like the 0 to 108 second time. It feels a bit faster than that. And the handling is pretty great. The seating comfort is just right. Of course, you get sport bucket seats, the side bolsters that keep you in place, and it is just perfect. As for the fuel economy, this car is pretty decent. You get average returns on fuel economy, just like in any other car within its class. After that test drive, I'd say the ride quality is pretty decent for a car. Refined, the road communicates with the car and vice versa, so you don't feel a lot of undulations, yet it is not as luxurious as a car that is way above or falls within the luxury, luxury category. Anyway guys, the performance is also decent, the build quality in the car, comfort, very decent. And for a car that costs 23 million naira, I think this offers you a lot of value. Now you may not like a few things such as the lagging infotainment system, the lack of a wireless charging pad, or even a USB-C port. Mm. But I think that for the value at which this car is rated, it is pretty great. So guys, I want you to tell me in the comment section, if you are given a plethora of options, say the Honda Civic, the Hyundai Elantra, the Toyota Corolla, this MG GT, and a lot of other subcompact sedans in this class, which would you pick and why? Here's the saying, see you next time, guys. You've arrived at our destination. If you haven't, please do well to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next review.